But the video for this Wednesday, June the 23rd, I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. And quite a refreshing morning across Alabama. Temperatures in the 50s across the northern third of the state. Around 60 in the I-20 corridor. We're at lower middle 60s to the south. But you can thank this uh, big trough of low pressure over eastern Canada and the Great Lakes region of the United States. It will be moving out to the northeast today. And moisture levels will be returning. But as of this morning, we're enjoying some really dry air. This is a comparison of the precipitable water over Alabama. That's all the water in a column of the moisture above us uh, compared to normal. And we are well, well below normal, 40% of normal. Uh, parts of Tennessee, 25, 30% of normal. Uh, some readings around 40 uh, are in the 40s up around uh, Nashville this morning. Made it feel like uh, quite a day to get out maybe take a run or um, do something uh, early in the morning. This is These are the tropics uh, showing that disturbance there uh, a few hundred miles east of the Windward Islands. It is running out of time to develop because it is encountering increasingly unfavorable conditions. But we continue to watch an active uh, train of waves coming off the uh, coast of Africa, and eventually those are going to be factors uh, tropically. Now, this system will weaken... Uh, probably before it reaches the islands, but it will maintain itself uh, as a wave across the Caribbean. And by the time it gets to the Western Caribbean around midweek next week, uh, there's a chance that it could develop at that point. All the factors will be coming together to um, be favorable for development at that point. Later today, though, Alabama, most of it, at least uh, north of uh, the coastal sections, uh, high and dry today. Uh, another beautiful warm day, high temperatures in the middle 80s. Uh, the relative humidities will be uh, creeping back up, so enjoy it while you can. Uh, by tomorrow, the ring of fire is set up as the subtropical high intensifies over the east coast of the U.S. You can see that flow of moisture across the Gulf Coast along that old front, which will be trying to come north by that time, uh, wrapping back around through the Mississippi Valley. Now, by Friday, that ring of fire is still uh, well enhanced uh, across much of the um, uh, the Carolinas, Georgia, circling back into the uh, Mississippi Valley in the Midwest. And you can see moisture entering the, entering the Gulf of Mexico. But here in Alabama, we're probably dry again Friday. I think that uh, we'll have to reintroduce the chance of isolated afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms, which is uh, sort of the, the normal for this time of year anyway. Now, by Saturday, that ridge breaks uh, down enough to allow that front to um, really kind of surge back into the area, showers and thunderstorms. Uh, will be around maybe a little higher than average rain chances on Saturday, but not a total washout by any means. Now, Sunday, on the other hand, could be more of a total washout, or at least much better chances of rain uh, in the afternoon and evening hours. Uh, high temperatures are going to be trending back toward the upper 80s, as we'll see in a minute. Lows will be trending back toward 70 as we get back to normal for this time of year. Monday, more of the same. You can see our disturbance moving through the Caribbean. That's when it will begin to get our interest, and our eyes will be on Cuba and the Yucatan Strait uh, by late on Tuesday the 29th. Um, just scattered showers and thunderstorms here. Uh, the G this obviously in no way is a forecast. This is one deterministic run of the GFS, but it has consistently been spitting out the idea of a tropical cyclone. Here it has it. Thursday, July 1st, uh, that afternoon in the central Gulf of Mexico is a pretty well-developed, uh, probably tropical storm at that point. And uh, it's, you know, under this model run, it's targeting the north central Gulf of Mexico. Now, doesn't look like a really big storm or, you know, one that's going to cause huge problems, but uh, it could bring rain and wind to some portion of the Gulf Coast, probably between Louisiana and um, the Big Bend area of Florida, uh, there between Cedar Key and Tallahassee sometime uh, during that week. As a matter of fact, uh, if you go out to the July 4th, which will serve as our voodoo slide for today, you see uh, a weakening tropical cyclone there over eastern Alabama with rain and wind for places like Auburn, uh, Montgomery, Dothan. We'll see if that really plays out. Here are the uh, temperatures off the national blend of models showing uh, generally middle to upper 80s will be the uh, normal and uh, that is really the climactic normal for about this time of year. Uh, low temperatures will be um, uh, recovering from our 61 or so uh, that was forecast for this morning uh, into the middle and upper 60s to near 70 as we go through time. Now, how much rain can we expect over the next two weeks? This is off of the uh, GFS Ensemble showing the uh, mean somewhere right around 3 inches. That's not bad. We take that. 
some of the lower end members um, less than an inch. But look at those higher end members. Um, you know, some members uh, obviously thinking that that tropical cyclone might have more impact on us, uh, say, you know, five to seven inches. So, you know, where will it turn out? We will see. Well, that's your weather video for this third or Wednesday. Sorry, June the 23rd. I'll have notes on the blog. Uh, Ryan will have an update on the forecast at noon. I'll uh, give you another update uh, around mid-afternoon, even though we're on one a day schedule this week. Uh, cause, uh, I tell you what, that James, Ma that James man, he can do some work. That's for sure. And when he's on vacation, we miss him. But, uh, until I get to see you at the same time tomorrow morning, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky cause you'll always have something fun to look at.